My name is Dij Von Santos. I produce under the Dij moniker, and I'm originally from Los Angeles, California. Oh, I'm really bad at describing my music. Um, I don't know. I just feel like I like calling it emotional 808 or something like along those lines. It's like I don't know. A lot of people talk about EDM, and I feel like EDM for me just means emotional dance music. You can actively listen to it, or you can passively listen to it, but the song has something for both of those states of mind. A lot of my newer stuff is like kind of, I wouldn't say club oriented, but would do okay. It's, I feel like a lot of times, even when I'm like going, you know, like I have an idea in mind and I'm like, yeah, like I'm gonna make this dance song. It just comes out as this slow, chilled out thing anyways. So regardless of like the approach, I feel like, yeah, it's more on a sort of relaxed vibe, something you want to like take a bath to or like smoke a joint or like get down with your girl on or I don't know, like more on a sort of relaxed sort of vibe. I began playing music early in high school just with stuff like guitar and piano, um, but pretty quickly got into electronic music. I was always more like dialed into the internet and that's kind of and I feel like it's always been on this like net-based platform. Um, so I've always kind of used the computer as like my tool to search for music. I was just in Europe studying um, in Hamburg last year and that sort of changed a lot of things for me where I was in Europe in a different context and I was exposed to a lot of new music. Most of it was dance music. Um, and so that kind of stuff is always in the back of my head regardless of what I'm making. I haven't sampled too much of my recent music, um, but it was always a big influence definitely when I was starting out. It gives this other feel. It's like you take a record and you bring a sound that used to exist in a certain place in a certain time and you sort of like, I don't know, you flip it in a way that you make that sound accessible to a generation of people that may not have heard from the record before. A lot of people hate on pop music, but I personally have no problem with it. I think I learned a lot actually from listening to pop music. It's not for everyone, but I think there's certain things that you can learn from that or like reappropriate. And I'm not trying to make like the weirdest stuff possible. I want it to some live in some sort of like conversation between the two. I definitely wouldn't say I'm telling some sort of narrative with my songs. They mostly lie in a field of like being more about like, I don't know, like emo feelings or like creating a sort of vibe with the song rather than sort of telling some narrative because I'm, I'm pretty bad at that so I just feel like I'm just sticking to like an emotional base more than like trying to tell a story with them. I just signed with Anticon which I'm super excited about. We're doing a reissue of my first EP that was self-released called Tide Songs and then we're working it out down the road and this is going to be a long long-term sort of goal with me and I'm super excited to be a part of a label that has such a long history within like weirdo hip-hop stuff. I have no like grand plans but it definitely feels like the right thing for me to be doing right now. I don't know where this is really going for me but I'm really having a good time doing it.